Hello everyone, Johnny here and welcome back to another video. Now today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about if an American kid came to a British school. Now if you're American and you're watching this, it's all just light-hearted banter. Don't take it seriously, just for entertainment. Before we get in this video, if we could smash 35,000 likes, that'd be much appreciated. Go down below, smash the like button right now. Also, go get yourself some merch if you haven't already. The website's right there on the screen, it's lovely. Go get yourself a t-shirt. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Right, so the first thing I want to talk about, yeah, if an American pupil came to a British school, is they wouldn't last a day. They actually wouldn't. They think they're so hard, but in their own way. The bullies in their school, yeah, from what I've seen from TV programs and all that shit, and, and, and some people might go, yeah, but it's not a good representation. Disney Channel's not a good representation. Films where there's high schools in it ain't a good representation. But if you have our films, like Kid Adulthood, Adulthood, um, I don't know, like ill manners, blah blah blah. I know they're like very in rough areas, but it is a it's it's a kind of realistic idea of what life is like over here. So why wouldn't it be a realistic idea of what life's like over there? Do you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, I reckon if a, a bully uh, come to England um, from America, I reckon it's time to go something to be like this. So I put my hands up to play in my song, you know I gotta fly away. Not in my head like Oh, a call from the States! Must be my good old buddy Brock. Hey bro! What's up? <laughs> it's your friendly neighborhood Brockmeister! How's it going, dude? Just thought I'd give you a call to check out my best bud. I'm doing super awesome, bro. Thanks for the call, man. That's awesome, dude. Hey, what's high school like in England? Oh, dude, you would not believe it. It's totally full of noobs. I can feel I'm gonna run the high school already. No way! <laughs> I knew my fellow jock wouldn't let me down. t pack Of course not, dude, you know me. <laughs> Hold on, bro. I've just seen a little sixth grader on his own. I wanna show him how us Americans do it. Oh yeah, you rock. Show them how, bro. Hey, punk. I said, hey, punk. You talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you, dweeb. Now hand over your lunch money. I I'm sorry, what? Are you freaking deaf? I said hand over your lunch money now. Do you wanna die? What? I don't have any cash on me. It's all in my fingerprint. How do you not know that? Right. Well then, it seems like you're gonna march to the cafeteria and buy me a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, alright, Rob. I beg you, leave me alone. You're actual neek. Don't you speak back to me! You're a sixth grader! Now march! March! That's it! If you don't wanna take me there, I guess I'm gonna have to drag you there. Put your hands on me, G. Mom's life, we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> Whatever, loser. I was the head boy in my school. You'll do as I say. Are you fucking. Bro, are you fucking dumb? I said don't touch me, you mad. What? This doesn't make any sense. How are you so strong? Have you been on the juice? Bro, shut the fuck up with your weird fucking slang. You know what? Just for trying to violate me. Run me your fucking stuff right now, rude boy. What's that? A knife? Ooh, I'm so scared of a knife. Let me hand over my tea and biscuits to the British kid. <laughs> we have guns where we come from. Nose flash. That can't damage me. I'm a real warrior. Your country's full of freaking noobs. You know what? This. <laughs> what the frick? Why am I actually bleeding? Oh my god. I didn't know you could actually get hurt from a knife. I thought it was only guns. Oh my god, I'm dying. Jesus, help me. Please, I'm too cute to die. Somebody help me. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir, please. You've got to take me to the nurse. Why, child? Whatever seems to be the matter. I've been stabbed, sir. And there's no one else around. Please, you've got to help me. <laughs> You're right. There is no one around, is there? What? Sir, please, just get the school nurse. I didn't know poxy British knives could puncture my skin. I thought it would only be an AR-15. I've never seen a boy with three holes in his body before. <laughs> and it's already lubed up for me. Sir, what are you talking about? Please help me. Mm, yes, yes, okay, okay. But I have to do some examination for a report to the school nurse. How 
deep on average would you say the stab wound is? Uh, uh, I, I don't know, like two inches? Perfect. Now, before we get into the next skit, I know you lot have missed the skits, and I haven't done a skit in a minute. Um, and the reason for that is because I've basically done every skit there is to do. I've been on this channel for like six years now, and I've basically done every single skit I can do. So, yeah, it's hard to come up with skit ideas at the moment. Hence why I've been switching up my content and trying to do more in real life stuff. Do you know what I mean? Get my personality across more rather than being characters. And by the looks of it, you lot seem to like it. Obviously, there's some of you that still like miss my skits. Of course, of course, I like making skits but um it's good it's good to see that a lot of you like the new content as well because yeah i think it's it, it's refreshing to make new content and i think with youtube you need to kind of switch up your content every now and then so yeah that's what i'm trying to switch up with some fresh new content but hopefully all the kids around me the real loyal fans will like it no matter what i upload but uh yeah so don't worry i'm not completely getting rid of skits yet but i'm just trying to switch up my content just um just to just to just yeah, because because adapting's good, isn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's it's good to switch up the stuff. But yeah, let me know some video ideas down below that you want to see me do something different to skits. Um, yeah, and I'll put my own spin on it. If you know, even if someone else has done it, I might even start making skits and putting them on TikTok. I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah, at the moment I'm enjoying what I'm uploading. Um, yeah, that's all that matters, isn't it? Now the next situation I want to talk about, yeah, is how they would chat to birds. You know, UK birds are a lot different to American girls. Let me tell you that now, and especially London chicks. Um, yeah, but it goes out like this. Omg, there she is, Chanel Smith, the hottest girl in high school. <sighs> Time to go make my move and make up my prom queen. Here goes nothing. Oh my days are no man, his piece was bad straight in that, no way I was sucking it. I lie, I don't tell Donny to move from me though. Hey Chanel, I must say, you're looking freaking hot today. Tss. You smell lovely too, what's that in your skin? Let me guess, it's Chanel. What? No, it's Hollister body spray. Oh, well either way, you look hot as a cayenne pepper. I'd love to tap that ass. How does this sound? I know you must fancy the pants off me because, well look at me, I'm a jock. But how does it sound? Me and you, day for two, the movies, and a candle at dinner. What? <laughs> Bro, is this guy for real? Wetty. Hey everyone, I've got an announcement to make. Chanel Smith. Would you be my beautiful prom date? <laughs> oh my days, man. You're such a cringe bag, brother. Bet you move for me. I lie. <laughs> Some more shoot about, would you be my prom date? Fucking <laughs> nerd. What? But I'm the king of the jocks. My dad has a 401k. So, well, I don't even know what a jock is or a 401k, so I'm pussy on you, man. I beg you move from me. And besides, I've got my eye on someone else anyway. What? That douchebag? But I'm running for class president. He's not even in the football team. What? You're trying to be a prefect? Oh my god, you're actually the biggest neek. I <laughs> lie. <laughs> but, but he's a poor ass dweeb. He looks like he lives in the freaking projects. Nah, man, he's a buff ting still. Plus his line bangs. He's got hella runners. <sighs> right, that's it. Hey, punk! Leave Chanel alone. She's mine. What? You heard me, I'm not repeating it. No, I didn't. Come again, big man. Ah, oh, fine. You wanna fight over her? So be it. Let's take it to the basketball court. First one to 21 gets the girl. Bro, who you get allowed to? And secondly, I don't even know what the f you're talking about. Chanel Smith, she said she fancies you and I'm not having it. Raw, that thing over there, yeah? Apparently she gives unreal slops, you know? I move, that's my thing. Hey yo, Chanel, you're looking pain still. But f here, what's it? Hey, let me get your snap. <laughs> of course, babe. Ah! I don't freaking get it! I'm a freaking jock! My dad will sue you all! And the third situation I want to talk about, yeah, is their banter is so different to ours. Like, the UK is very nitty gritty. Like, we insult each other a lot as friends. That's just how we. That's just what we do as friends. Like we're very, we're we're very like real, honest country. Put it that way. 
I know, it's a, it's a bit different over there. Alright, hey, bruv, look at this chick that followed me first on Insta. How fit is she? No, she didn't follow you first, bruv. What are you lying for? Yes, she did, you prick. What, are you trying to say I'm ugly or something? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. State of you, bruv. Well, why is she following me then, eh? I don't know, probably thinks you're gay or something and waiting for you to post makeup tutorials so she can get tips. Oh, yeah, good one. Anyways, what's that little Essex thing saying? You say it. Nah, bruv, not yet. Her parents are always in. Got some sick head of her in the cinema toilets every day, though. <laughs> no way! Ratings, bruv. Oh, speaking of whores, tell your mama said thank you for the other day. For what? She done me a little son's mates rate, innit? Finished all over her face a lot. And she only charged me a score. I must say, she enough no way around a cop, you stupid slag. <laughs> yeah, you ain't wrong. Mind you, at least my mum's racking in the dough being a part-time brass. The last thing that beat your mum was your dad and look where that got him. You know, that's a bit strong in it, you prick. I was depressed over that for months. <laughs> what are you still doing here then? You should have topped yourself for your lowest. It would have been a f***ing laugh. F*** off, bro. I've got PTSD from that shit. So has he. Who could blame her for hitting her? She's such a boring bitch. Anyone would have belted her, the f***ing stupid whore. <sighs> Man, she's such a prick. What? It's true. That whiny voice goes straight through me. Imagine hearing that every day when they're trying to rump it. No wonder he belted her. Yeah, f*** off, bro. I'll belt you in a minute. Yeah, all right, you neek. Right, anyways, I've got to be in the detention in five. I'll shout you later, innit? Yeah, sweet, bruv. Nice one. <sighs> sweet. <sighs> Dude, what just happened? I didn't know you had beef with that guy. What? I don't. But you two were just going at each other like a pack of wild animals. I thought you was going to sucker punch his ass. What? No. He's my best mate. What? That's your best bud for life? Then why was you going at each other then? Oh, that. Nah, it's just banter, innit? Nothing serious, just funny, innit? Banter? What's banter? You know, like lighthearted insults to each other because we're mates. But doesn't that defeat the purpose of being best friends for life? What? No, look. Try giving me an insult, but in a kind of friendly way, so you don't really mean it. Go on, try it. Um, okay. Hmm. I've got it. You suck eggs, pal! <laughs> Such a leak. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. Please leave a like if you did. And see if we can smash 35,000 likes. Be much appreciated. Go get yourself some merch if you haven't already. Kezaclothing.com. Go get yourself one. Support me. Be much appreciated. Subscribe today to join the Kezar Army. And uh, yeah, goodbye.